If you ask me, Milad, with great respect, you ask the wrong question, you'll get a wrong answer. This is the wrong question. Milad, thereafter, kindly turn to 42, Milad. 42. I will not read four or five paragraphs and then make two, three submissions, Milad, on this judgment. 42, Milad, at 585. Sections 3 and 11, as indicated, confer no rights on organizers of Jallikattu or Gulakkar, but only duties and responsibilities, but confer corresponding rights on animals. Please mark this line. You know, this line comes without any discussion, without any reasoning, and I submit without any rationale. And, my lord, your lordships have held in Justice Sahay's words, my lord, one of the best judgments on Pari Incurium, my lord, and sub silent show in that alcohol case, my lord, synthetics and chemicals, my lord, I draw your lordship's attention. That what is, my lord, recorded as a conclusion without discussion, without precedent, borders, my lord, either on Pari Incurium or sub silent show and cannot be a declaration of the law under Article 141. That's what, my lord, your lordships have gone to the extent of saying, oh, yes, Supreme Court, not High Court. So, so this, my lord, saying that you need 3 and 11, it's a duty on the obligation on the, on the human being not to act, my lord, if I may say so excessively, which will lead to a sanction, but it will lead to this. There is no warrant in the statute, my lord. Especially, when you are conscious of you know, fundamental duties, which themselves can't be enforced, if it can't be enforced by humans, against humans, or against government, this proposition, you, know, you will read this proposition by some process of reasoning. It's not there at all. Now come back you know, to what I was reading. I had read you know, 64, 65 to a lot. So come back to that for a second. 64 was those five freedoms, you know. Yeah. I read, you know, kindly see placidum D. These five freedoms are considered as fundamental principles and welfare. And we can say that these freedoms, kindly mark, you know, find a place in 3 and 11. And they are for animals like, like, like rights guaranteed to citizens under part 3. With great respect, you know, doesn't follow at all. Part 3 are rights given by humans to humans by a constituent assembly. <laughs> then, my lord, my lord, 66 rights guaranteed under 3 and 11 are only statutory rights. Same have to be elevated to fundamental rights as done by few countries. Rights and freedoms granted to animals under 3 have to be read with 51A GNH, which is the Magna Carta of animal rights. You know, I respectfully submit there is nothing in 51 to suggest that you know, it's a Magna Carta. Now, my Lord, kindly turn the page, turn to 68. You know. 51A sub clause H says it shall be the duty of every citizen to develop scientific temper. Please underline the phrase humanism, the spirit of inquiry and reform. Emphasis has been made to the expression humanism, which has a number of meanings, but increasingly designates as an inclusive sensibility for our species. Humanism also means to understand benevolence, compassion, mercy, etc. With great respect, Lord, I have checked a couple of dictionaries. No dictionary has the meaning of humanism which is mentioned here. And I'll show you, my Lord, one by one. The mistake is that their lordships are thinking humane. Humane and humanism are completely different. Humane is have a humane approach, have a merciful approach, compassionate approach, be humane. But humanism has nothing to do with it. Humanism is a rationalist who doesn't believe either in religion or Milord in some supernatural power. He believes in rationalism. That is how Milord is defined in every dictionary. I can read it, Milad, but may not be necessary. 
I can, read, I can read one. A system of values and beliefs based on the idea that people are good and problems can be used, can be solved by using reason instead of religion. A belief based on principle that people's spiritual and emotional needs can be satisfied without following a god or religion. Being a rationalist. I don't, I mean, borders on being an atheist. That's how it is. Rationalism. A large number. Anyway, so that's how it is. Now, Blood, your Lordship sees the last portion of 68. To look into the welfare and well being of animals and the duty to prevent infection of pain or suffering on animals highlight the principle of humanism in 51. Blood, this is not correct. Both articles G and H have to be read into 51, especially into 3 and L, and to be applied and enforced. Now pause here for a minute. Your know, fundamental duties can't be enforced. Your lordships have said repeatedly. Now it will be enforced by being you know, welded into 3 and 11. That's yet another error. Enforcement of fundamental duties. You know, if your lordship desires, you know, your lordship can note. I mean, it is settled law, but your lordship might just know. Fundamental duty is not capable of being enforced. Right? 2002, one SCC, 428, and that directive principles can't be enforced, you know, it was said long back. Directive can't be enforced, AIR 58, Supreme Court. 731. Now, Millard, your Lordship will find. Kindly turn now to 595, Millard. Know. With respect, C71. However, lot of avoidable. Lot of avoidable, non essential human activity like bullock cart, race, jelly cut, etc. Pause here for a minute. How does the court decide Milord, that it is not essential or non essential? How? It's a part of culture, it's a part of amusement, it's a part of religion, whatever it is. The court is not an arbiter of deciding Milord, whether it is non essential or not. Can you say, my lord, walking in a park for a human being is non-essential? He need not walk, he need not run, he need not do this, he need not do that. How, how do the court say, my lord, it is non-essential? So you start with this, that what you are doing is really non-essential, you are doing for amusement, and therefore you are causing lord, this kind of pain. But thinking that they would be instrumental value are intentionally used, though avoidable, again avoidable. Ignoring welfare of bulls solely for human pleasure. I showed you 11M. 11M can solely be entertained. There's nothing wrong with it. Lord, when you ride a horse, it is solely for entertainment that you ride a horse. After domesticating a horse, you ride. You can't do it without domesticating. I'm going to show something else, Lord, a little later. Now turn to 72. 72. Every species has a right to life and security subject to the law of the land, which includes depriving its life out of human necessity. 21 of the Constitution safeguarding rights so it protects life in the word life is an expanded meaning, which includes forms of all life, which is including animal life, which is necessary for human life, fall within 21. So far, animals are concerned our view, life means something more than mere survival. This judgment of the Supreme Court that life means mere survival was meant for humans, not bare existence, the Lord she would recall. It was not meant below in this form. Now go further. But to lead a life of intrinsic worth and honor, animals' well being and welfare is statutorily recognized under Section 3 and 11, rights framed under the Act, right to live in a healthy and clean atmosphere, and right to get protection from human beings against infliction of pain is a right guaranteed 3 and 11 and 51. Now, Milady, your lordship sees 
again in 74. Yes. Again in 74, you also get an amalgam of 3, 11, 51A, G and H. And if so read, last line of 74, bulls cannot be used as a performing animal since they are basically drought impact, not anatomically, anatomically designed, etc. Et yeah. Yeah. Not one more comment I wanted. Just wanted you to read section seven and eight of the Environment Protection Act. Because these are duties yes. cannot be enforced. They just wondering, you know, if you read section seven eight, yeah, read. and the writ is filed for a mandamus asking it is that you shall not. No person yeah. carrying on an industry operation process <coughs> shall discharge or emit or permit to be discharged or emitted any environmental pollutant in excess of such standard as may be prescribed. No person shall handle or cause to be handled any hazardous substance except in according with procedure and after complying with such safeguards. Yeah. So, in a public interest litigation, let us take it. Yeah. Find that the industry is doing precisely as the duty is there. Mandamus yeah. lies where a duty, perhaps it becomes a public duty because it affects the public. Will yeah. it not lie? I mean, it, petitions are filed. This is statutory opposition. No, no. First issue is. It is between humans. That's right. Supposing, uh, Why are, uh, take a case where a, in a local body, a case is filed that animals are being treated, say dogs, as, as is a very controversial issue in Kerala in particular, we know that. Or any other species, for example, they are treating the officers of the particular local body, they are treating them in a very cruel manner. Assume, hypothetically. Can it be filed by somebody saying, please don't do that? And a mandamus is issued to the officer, the, 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 the chairperson of the authority. Please ensure that you know the duty under section 311 is enforced. But with great respect, ma'am. In, in this example, it may be difficult for a court to tell the owner of an animal that you must ensure that the animal is not fed in a particular manner not chained, kept in a shed, not kept in scorching sun. That may not be possible. The position will not have environment and that may be different. This will not an environment being spoiled by a human being to will not for a human being. But will not, because rights are will not enshrined for human beings in our constitution and our laws. That's right, but it is ought to be enforced against humans because cruelty... But at whose instance? At the instance of any person. No, will not... Any local, any, anybody... No, has... I'm only saying will not that it is being enforced against a human, but at the instance of an animal. That's right. Yes, on behalf of the animal. On behalf of the no, animal. On behalf, where is that behalf? Or where do we get that? Locus. Lord, somebody would say, some law would say, this law says there's an obligation on you, Mr. So-and-so, not to inflict extra pain, because if you do, you will be sanctioned. Fine. That it stops there. There is no, Lord, law was saying that there is a corresponding right in an animal to do this, that, or the other. Take the case of, say, a, de a, de a degradation of a, a, a forest, wildlife protection, or the Forest Conservation Act. Can you not come and say, can a human not come and say, see, it is being happening there, a lot of people are uh, uh, they are violating the law, cutting trees, Preservation of Trees Act you have in every state. Yes, yes. Trees cannot be cut. Whether it gives a right is a different matter. We are not talking about that. But a duty to not actually do certain acts as are laid down in the various acts would perhaps be enforced by a mandamus. But the only difference is... Could be. Could be. Could be. The only difference Lord, seems to be to be in the case Lord, of animals versus humans. As opposed to Lord, the environment or other which is for humans by humans. That seems to be Lord, the difference. And in any case, Milad, this is a matter of debate. It can't be, Milad, in this fashion that if you have this duty, you have a right, that should be enforced, that 51A is enforced. How can 51A be enforced? We don't look at it anyway. 51A is being enforced by putting it into 3 and 11. 51A itself for humans can't be enforced. It may be a matter of debate, as my Lord Justice Joseph has put it. Yes, it could well be. But you have to have a debate and then work it out. Can't be, Milad, in this fashion.
Yeah. It's not A is equal to B and B is equal to C. Hence, A is equal to C. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. The entire judgment is founded on that. Seventy, seventy last sentence. One seven zero. No, uh, seven zero. Seven. seven. The last sentence. Yes. Other animals like owls, cows, bulls, etc., are purely used for farming, transporting loads, etc. That too for the benefit of uh, human beings. Yeah. Then of course subjecting them to some pain yeah. that is unavoidable. Now the question is, now whether the preservation of uh, culture. Yeah whether that can be said to be for the benefit of human beings, whether that will fall under there. You know, culture would be a part of a human being's well-being. Because they are the, the part they are, of they are the bad. Why, what else is culture? So why this question is, uh, is put is, yes, farming, sir. transporting loads, etc. So here, whether this will fall there under preservation, whether it will be for the benefit of a human being. You know, our culture would be a part of, and this would take color from Article 29. 29 uses the phrase that the people will have a right to conserve. It's a very peculiar phrase. You know. It doesn't say protection or promotion, which would be normal promotion of culture. It says, you know, any section of citizens residing in territory of India or a part, having a distinct language, script or culture of its own, shall have the right to conserve. It's a right to, it's an absolute right to conserve. Just as you have a right of farming, you have a right my lord, of conservation. I'm grateful for that query. Now, my lord, let's take it a little further. Let's take it a little further. When you domesticate an animal, my lord, it's happened over the last 5,000 years. You have to subject, my lord, the animal to what I call a characteristic policy. Whether it's a dog, whether it's a horse. So you catch hold of a dog, the wild, wild, catch hold of a horse blood wild dogs, who's blood running around in the wild, and there's no interaction with humans. You catch the dog, uh, the, the horse, you put him blood in an arena, which can't escape. Then you slowly try to tame him, you sit on it, it'll throw you off. You then blood whip the dog, whip the horse, you put him into submission. So that he realizes that there would be a master. The master uses a characteristic policy. It will whip him, may not give him food for half a day, so that you know, the horse becomes submissive. And when the horse does what the master wants, it gives him you know, a carrot. It happens with the horse, it will happen with the camel, it will happen with the dog. Dog in your own house. If you discipline a dog, and the dog is disciplined and does a good job, you, know, you will give him a biscuit. This is the characteristic policy. This has been followed over the years. And each of these, you know, there are articles on this. Not confined to animals. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say that. When you send, my lord, children to school, that old saying, my lord, spare the rod and spoil the child. I mean, that is an old saying. Today, there is no corporal punishment in school. My lord, in those days, when we were in school, it was there. Very much there. So, so this is how, my lord, somebody is tamed. And at that point of time, when you are taming, my lord, the person, or the, the animal, you are inflicting unnecessary pain on him. No doubt about it. To bring him, my lord, into the domestic fold. And then he recognizes who the master is. My lord, in the case of a horse, your lordships have seen, is nothing new. You put metal hooves under the horse. In the horseshoe. That is not natural, Milord, for a horse. You are putting it, Milord, a, a horseshoe or what is called a, called a bite. Your Lordship, no, Milord, what a bite is. It is put in the mouth and it goes inside. And when you pull the rein to stop the horse, the bite goes inside. It will go here. The horse will bite on it and stop. It is well known. This is called a bite, Milord. This is not, this is actually inflicting below constant pain. This is constant pain on the horse. Forever, he will live with it and die with it. 
It's called a bite. Just see this one. Kindly will not have a look at this. Your Lord Sri will find. We can see on one side is a ring below at the edge of the mouth and the ring is attached to a rod. That rod below will come out of the other end and it will have a similar ring there. And through the ring below is the rain. Lord Sri will see that. Through the ring is a rain here and one rain there. So the moment you pull it, how do you tell the horse to stop? You know, the horse can't hear, understand what you are saying. When you pull the horse, pull the rain, the horse will stop because this bite will go inside further. Yeah. So what I am trying to say is, Bilal, it's a, it's a delicate balance. It is a delicate balance which has to be, Bilal, done by virtue of rules, by virtue of ensuring, Bilal, that unnecessary problems do not occur. But this kind of thing, Bilal, per se, is actually speaking suffering per se, but it is justified because of domestication. How? So un instead of unnecessary, can you say that it is unavoidable? I, I, unavoidable yes. for the purpose. I am very grateful. Bro. Unavoidable is also a phrase. Can you remove this? Technically speaking, the horse was not meant to have this blood. Or if somebody sitting over it. Or a donkey will not be the beast of burden. They were not supposed to be beast of burden just because Lord, he is born in that fashion and is not like a horse. Even today in this country, Lord, in several mountainous areas or certain regions of this country, most regions, these donkeys even today carry 50 kilos Lord, of weight day in and day out. Day in and day out. Elephants Lord, in Kerala and other places carry lumber. Are they supposed to carry lumber? Human beings do that. Human beings do that. You go to Milord, mountainous areas Mountain where area people can't go to religious places. They, they, they are put on the back. Janital I have seen. Janital. First you have a palki Milord. Yes. Palanquin. Carrying that. Or somebody gonna. Milord, all this is there now. You can't buy. You cannot Milord. What I am trying to say is. You can't look at all this in isolation. As if this is the highest pedestal which is there in all the other you know, human and those rights you know, are not looked at. That is not you know, a correct approach. Oh, you know, there was a reference in para 15 to bull tamers. Because bull tamers was used in the PCA Act of the state in 2009. You know. So the court has an adverse view of bull tamers in para 15. Now a bull tamer or a horse trainer, tamer or trainer is very much required in our system to domesticate. Even when you use a bull for plowing below a field or as a beast of burden, will you not domesticate it? How will you domesticate it? By a tamer or a trainer, whatever you call it. Para 15 will not castigate the provision of bull tamers will not in the, the PC Act of 2009, sections 4 and 5. That will not be respect is not the correct approach. So I, I have not finally two submissions on this. One that this is wrong, yes, I don't say it again. Legally, Milord, it suffers from two problems. One, that these conclusions are reached without precedent, without discussion, and therefore, Milord, they are susceptible to the principle of per incurium or sub silentio. As explained, my Lord, by Justice Sahai in 1991, 4 SCC 139, paragraphs, my Lord, 40 and 41. I don't want to read it, my Lord. 40 and 41, His Lordship discusses. Because the, the problem was in an earlier judgment, my Lord, by it abruptly, a purchase tax was replaced by sales tax. Actually, it was not just a typographical error actually. Purchase tax was replaced by sales tax. It could have been corrected by an IA. But since it was a Supreme Court judgment, the High Court below decided something, it came back to Supreme Court. And then the Supreme Court said that it abruptly came without any assuming below it was to be brought in, not by a mission. And a para which you are reading? Below 40 and 41. 40. 41 says incuria is carelessness. 
So we'll go through that. Yeah, paragraph 48, 48. The Lordship will see that. Right? Yeah. It says, we'll any declaration, we we'll got to. We'll go through it. Right. We have understood your point. Yes. This is followed, my Lord, by several judgments. I'll give you one more and leave it at that. Mr. Justice Chauhan. It just, uh, just hand it over. I am just giving this. Idea. Followed in, you can be. Yes, yes. All right. Now, my Lord. So there is one argument of Shyamdeva, which yes. he said. We just want to know what your response. He said that Article 21, through the conduit of human lives being lost, also because we, we are forgetting the other angle to the, the, the Jalikatu, which is that apart from animals being uh, at the uh, receiving end of cruelty, as it were, a lot of humans are losing their lives, injuries are taking place. Lord, what do you say about that? Lord, with great respect, in every field of activity, people lose their lives. Lord. You are driving on a road. You may not be, be driving rashly. Somebody else does something. Somebody may die. Some truck may overturn. Some building may fall. Some bridge may fall. But you are you're, here you are enabling it. Enabling this to take place. The state is permitting it to happen. What is more, the state has actively promoted it by putting it... You're down. There also the state is promoting people to drive at 100 miles an hour. If you go from here to Agra, they made a road. The minister says drive at 120 an hour. It's a great road. I mean, it's a state which has done all this. So, my Lord, this, and, and at the end of the day, my Lord, it's not as if that millions of people are going to be killed like a famine. It's not going to do, my Lord. I don't think, my Lord, it should be, it's, it's, it's be stretching 21 in the same manner, my Lord, that the judgment has stretched 51A into 3 and 11. I, I don't think, my Lord, that, that should really. That's it. Lord, that Justice Chauhan's judgment which follows. You can just give a citation. Yeah, my Lord, just citation. 2011. 7 SCC, yes, yes. 639, para 65 onwards. 65. Yes, that's right. Anything more? Without, uh, just as an aside, Justice Chauhan used to have a diary. Always. Black diary. All the judgments. Black diary. Black, Black diary. Black diary. Without, I asked his Lordship once, he showed it to me. So it contains, without, in his hand, all the judgments, without, on various, oh, yes. and that's why this judgment, the Lordship will find oh, each judgment will have 50 citations. 50 citations. Always. So in one judgment, you get a complete digest. Complete. But he's, I have asked him, Lord, he still has it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I said, you should donate it to a library or somebody, somebody came, Lord. Oh, he sold that. He doesn't want to do that. It's part of him. Yes. 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 Lord, the second objection of mine was. Yeah. That what the court has done in reading 3, 11, 51A, 21, etc. amounts to legislation. And courts do not legislate. The Lordship may note, below Amounts to legislation. Yes. Right. That you read everything together as if one has gone and welded into the other. Yes. That is, below 2002-4 SCC. 578, 7 judges. 2002, 4 SCC, 578. Now, I am done with this. Only 5 more minutes I want to know. No more. Milord, now, I have left the judgment. Milord, in the current scenario, Mr. Simple took a lordship through the rules. Milord. I don't want to Milord, take a lordship through the rules again. But beyond the rules, we have several Milord, SOPs, standard operating procedures. Not only the rule, because I heard your Lordship say in the earlier part of the discussion that some of the rules were not, not absolutely okay or tight enough. I understood that. There are some SOPs not, which seek to fill up that. And my second submission there is... That SOPs were different departments. Different department, different SOPs. Yes. Yes, Milo. And my second submission at the last would have been that should your Lordship find that there are some gaps Milo, in the rules I invite your lordships to indicate below in the judgment that they need to be tightened and we do that. But that cannot lead to a situation of either below holding the law bad or holding the event bad. Part of reading down. Yes, reading down or, or your lordship wants to give suggestions that please do this, this, this. I had said it below in the NJC case. 
that if the court did not find Milord favor with one or two clauses, the court could tell us and we would have you know, gone back and done it. But the court didn't do that. <laughs> it's all right. You know, I mean, I'm just saying that it happened. And I think it was in this, this very courtroom. It was in this very courtroom, Lord, if I'm not mistaken. And this one or the next one. Anyway, yeah. so, my Lord, those SOPs, if your Lordship will have, my Lord, volume three of the joint compilation. Just very quickly, I'll show you. Okay. Lord, page 1051 onwards. I just give you a flavor, my Lord. I will not read most of it. Yeah, don't read because. Yeah, I won't read. Just the flavor. In five minutes, my Lord, just give you the watch. What is the page? My Lord, 1051 onwards of Joint Compilation, Volume 3. It has been issued to all the collectors. Though, my Lord, it is only South Tamil Nadu where this event is popular. Only in the South. Three districts, my Lord. Dindigul, my Lord, Madurai, and what is it? The one more but difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Aryan view. Aryan. So, so three D six. Well, two I know. The third I didn't know. One zero five one. Yeah. My lord sees the subject, my lord. Animal husbandry, Jelly Cut 22021, assigning duties and responsibilities to departments, SOP for Jelly Cut 2, reference PCA, then several GOs, etc. etc. See, my lord, second para, in order to facilitate conduct of Jali Kattu. Mm -hmm. Volume 3, please. My lord, kindly see 1051. Yes. Justice Roy, have you It says convenience compilation volume 3. So basically, it's sort of SOP. Any, my lord, large number of SOPs. Just see, have it. It's okay. I understand that you are speaking about the SOPs issued to further safeguard the. My lord. Slight like gaps. Some of what is your lordship's comment? Executive instruction. Executive instruction, guidelines, whatever you may call it. No difficulty. We'll go through it. Yeah. So it goes on, my lord, from 1051. And goes on, my lord. I want your lordship to see, my lord, 1061. Just see 1061, one page, my lord. See, my lord, the checklist. It's a checklist, my lord, which has to be completed successfully before the government will grant you permission. Kindly turn to 1061. Yeah. Whether the organizers inform district collector in writing prior permission, whether the place is notified in the gazette, whether collector granted permission, whether names of participants are registered, whether venue is inspected, whether committee is concerned of district office to oversee, conduct jelly cut with family rules, whether bulls are tested by animal husbandry, whether bulls are tested by so and so disease, not intoxicated, etc. You also should recall intoxication, not uh, cheating substances and all that. Whether organized or arranged jelly cut open ground, collectors giving consent, then we not bull holding area, whether they provide the adequate space. There will be a lot of discussion before you lordship, small space, this, that, and the other. The booth provide the adequate feed, water, shamiana, all that. Because one phrase used in the judgment is, don't keep the bull in scorching sun. That's the phrase used. But, my lord, I, I, I ask myself, mm -hmm. suppose there was no domestication. The bull would be either scorching sun or snow. As we have given, my lord, a, a, a shed to him. We give him food also. <laughs> so, it's not, my lord. If you can't look at one side, is all I'm trying to say. You have to look at all sides. Domestication has problems, but domestication has advantages too. See, if you are if you are conducting this test by the veterinary doctors or animal husbandry, yes. Now, why not such a thing we conducted immediately after the race also? So anything whether whether anything was done during the race, that can be detected then. Could be immediately Could be. after. Yes. Because yes, during the time, it's an open, interesting etc. We are certainly open without to do it. Your yes. officer can record my statement. I, the officers are here. We because will instruct them to issue an SOP right The allegation is that during the right time, yes, all yes. these things are being done. So once prior to that, if yes. you are conduct, yes. conducting this, yes. nothing was there then. 
So immediately there are. Virat, we will do it. The Lordship can record. Secretary is here. We will instruct him right now. Not difficult. Goes on to some. It's not being. See, yes. Prada, the checklist goes on and on. They, yeah, they will collect it. We'll do that. So that yeah. that, that also can yeah. be. Your Lordship will record, Lord. We will do it. I'll instruct him right now in writing and they will, will put in SOP. No problem. Anything more? Hmm? Yeah, so it goes on and on, Lord. I don't want to read this. Up. You don't have to. Lord, I had a compilation to show how exactly it is done. An application is moved, somebody looks at it, then this checklist, all that is there, but you forget the, the application. Ah, Milord, there is last thing, Lord. I found one article when I was doing a research about an officer, of a professor of philosophy from the US. The article is Do animals have rights? I want the Lord to see it. I did not find anything else, Milord, except this. Just have a look. The lady. Sorry? It's written by a lady. No, no Milord. One Mr. Carl Cohen, Department of Philosophy. University of Michigan. Which year is that? You know, this. 97. You know, copyright is of 97, but I think it's an old one. We'll go through that. We'll go through that. It's an old one, yes. We'll go through it. You know, just there's some very Kindly will not turn to 94 for a second. Just see, Milot, the first para under the heading Why Animals Do Not Have Rights. My lords have this. Yeah. Many obligations are owed by humans to animals. Few will deny, but it certainly does not follow from this that the animals have rights because it is certainly not true that every obligation arises from the right of another. What I was trying to say, at least in the case of animals. Three lines down. But the proposition all rights entail obligation does not convert simply as the logicians say. From the true proposition, all trees, plants, does not follow all plants are trees. Similarly, not all obligations entail by right. Some obligations like mine to repay the money I borrowed from you do arise out of rights. But many obligations are owed to persons or beings who have no rights whatsoever in the matter. They turn to the next page, you know, middle. Animals cannot be the bearer of rights because the concept of rights is essentially human. It is rooted in and has force within a human moral world. Humans must deal with rats all too frequently in some parts of the world and must be moral in their dealing. But a rat can no more be said to have a right than a table can be said to have an ambition. To say of a rat that it is right to confuse categories, to apply its word to a moral category that is content only in humans, etc. Then, then this goes on. That's without my sir. Thank you. I, very Lord, I just wanted to mention one thing. Yesterday, your Lakshmi had asked me to circulate a note on the Maharashtra Minot stand. May I just do that? Do and secondly, you know, just to, uh, in my earlier note, we have dealt very elaborately with the rules because yesterday we could not place the Maharashtra rules. That is in my first book. So these are the two Maharashtra notes. Let's start from the Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. By 3 o'clock, we will go back to the other side. Yes, you know, uh, I have, you know, I am appearing for state of Karnataka. Karnataka, we have not heard so yes. far. Yes. <laughs> yes, tell us. <laughs> Lord, our amendment act is also impugned in writ petition 1152 of 18. Yes, tell us, tell us, tell us. Please take it that when your lordship decided Nagaraj, the event in Karnataka was not subject matter of Nagra. Kambala is different from Jalika too. Kambala is different from Jalika too. Also, bullock races in Maharashtra <laughs> as it dealt in Nagra. We mm -hmm. will find that in paragraph 2. We are dealing with Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu of Nagra. What happened is that after the judgment in Nagra, was brought an ordinance and that was replaced. The by petitioner action. started writing representation, saying that because of Nagraj, your race, which is called Kambala, is now become illegal and therefore you should stop it. That's why we brought an ordinance, Milot. It was Milot ultimately substituted by an amendment act that has also received presidential assent. Yes. In fact, this writ petition, Milot, was tagged after the referral order. Uh, made in Jalika 2's case. This writ petition, my lord, was tagged uh, 
In how many cases is the Karnataka Act actually in question? Only one minute I could find. 1152 of 2018. 1152 of 2018. Only one. Only one. So very good. And tagging order is also subsequent to the referral order. And I think it was Mr. Luthra who appeared that's, for the petition. That's correct. That's correct. That's right. So you take your... Yes. Now, let's two or three things I want whatever to is the, Whatever it is in Maharashtra case, you are adopting. That I am adopting. adopting. Whatever, whatever Mr. Sibal argued, whatever Mr. Adopting, Hesti argued. Adopting Maharashtra. There are three or four things I want to note. I yes. indicate. One was in the counter affidavit which we have filed, we have not described the nature of race which happens. Rules are made. Rules are made. The nature of race notes is for a particular kind of the race is through a particular kind of buffalo. That's right. 100 to 135 meters, only found in coastal region of Karnataka, Milot. The buffaloes are also only found in coastal region of Karnataka. Is it buffalo or uh, uh, bu bullet? Bull. No, domestic water buffalo they are called. Uh -huh. Domestic water buffalo they are called. The race takes place in slushy water fields. Slushy water field. About 15 to 20 seconds. Below. 15 to 20 seconds? Yes, 100 meters. It's only 100 meters. But 135 is what the complex is. Max that, that is separated in the room. That's not how the event is described in my country. That's not stipulated in the room. So 20 seconds. Is it, is it um, um, ticketed? Ticketed. Is it money to actually No, that's the government in the petition is, my lords, that it is not ticketed. So I don't have to Lord, really deny that government. Then what else is there? Lord, initially, my lords, the bad thing is after your lordship judgment in Nagarajan. Yes. High Court Lords directed state government to conduct an inquiry at the ground level as to how these races happen. That inquiry report is at page 324. Those were interim orders. They were ultimately disposed of because that, that year passed by. Oh. So page 324 of volume 1 of that convenience compilation which petitioners have given is a report is of the spot inspection report by uh, uh, by a three member committee Lord, which says that all the rules that are prescribed by AWBA and the rules framed by the state government are being followed. Yes. There are two tribal reports, not one by them and one by us. So we don't mind if the Lordship sees that any race which is available on social media. I'm not saying one will be different than the other, all will be same. Only bulls are used. No, no, no. Only buffalo. Only buffalo. Yes, yes. And two. A that pair, a pair of two, my lord. Only one person will ride. They will not ride. They will run behind the buffalo. They will not ride. Makes it worse. They will not ride. No. They will run behind the buffalo. No whipping. No kind of No whipping. Whipping is there, my lord. Whipping is there. Whipping is there. The video shows that the whipping is there. <coughs> you permit? Yes. So we did not attract Leveni. No, it will not. I'll show. So therefore, not one that site report at page three to four. Rules at page three to eight uh, of, of same one in one of the compilations. Two legal proposition and one article in addition to what all has been argued. That's all. That's all. Yes. Not a propensity of an act being misused since your lordships are dealing with validity. Mr. Goel, uh, give us the page once again. Yes, I'm sorry. Not page 324 of volume 1 of compilation is the report at the site by the committee. And page 328 of volume 1 are the rules. This is a petition 23. Plus, that deals with the 2016 notification of the central government under 22 of the main act. Karnataka involved in this petition 23. Plus, I 
the yes, no, notification is not just common for the entire country. That's right, but, but is the Karnataka state involved? No, but our act is after that. Our, uh, is yes. the Karnataka? Well, I don't know. I, I don't have a notice in uh, repetition country. Yeah. Yes. That in any case challenges the central no, government notification which was withdrawn. So so far as those two broad grounds are concerned of legislative competence, we also say that it falls under entry 17. That's and in so far as Millard's infraction of a constitutional provision is concerned or any other provision of constitution is concerned, Millard, we don't we say that there is no other provision which is violated, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, an allegation or an apprehension, rather, Millard, will be correct phrase, that an act or an event might be misused cannot Millard's, lead to quashing of a legislative action, Millard's. just one judgment, para 145 of Roger Matthews, your lordship has said so, or reiterated so in 2020, volume 6, SEC, page 1. Yeah. Millard's, the second legal uh, uh, proposition, Millard's, over and above what has been argued, is Millard's, what would amount to remove the basis of the judgment? State of Kerala versus Tamil Nadu. That also, Milots, but Milots, uh, a slightly detailed uh, disposition is there in this Hindustan construction that arbitration case yeah, yeah. by a three judge bench. That's 2020 17 SCC 325. Those two, three paragraphs, Milots, if your lordship permit, Milots, uh, subject give the paragraph. Time. Give the paragraph. Para 53 to 58. This is an argument judgment. That's right. Para 53 to 58. Not specific contention that the basis of the judgment you wanted to remove was not placed before the legislature is negated, my lords. And even an amendment 2020, volume 17, Supreme Court cases. 2020, 20, volume 20, SEC. Volume 17, SEC. Page 325. Paragraph 53 to 58. We'll go through it. Includes even an amendment act. That's right. Now, my lords, the... Uh, Third submission, my lord, is based on an is based on an article, my lord. One more article, my lord, other than over and above what Mr. Rodki gave, my lord. Please pass it on. That, my lord, deals with the judgment of your lordships in Kambal, uh, in Nagara, specifically. Uh, written by? My lord, it's actually written by two law students. It's published in SEC. Uh, in 2014. So yeah, you can just give the citation to SEC? Notice the SEC has a NUJS law review citation. We'll oh. see. Law students. We'll write it law students article. Right. Yes. But not to identify. Please, please permit me to not just be two or three pages there. The, and, 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 no, no, don't do that. We'll just, we'll go through it. Let's. When you say we'll go through it, we'll go through it. Very good. Please then, Milord Sahib. Very good, thank you. Very good. Minutes, so you didn't say about the whipping part. You said you will come to me. Yes. Now, Milord, on the whipping part, Milord, what we have actually done, if your Lordship goes back to 11.3, ah. there are five or six exceptions which correct, the legislature correct, correct, provides. Correct. There are, Milord, uh, one of these exceptions is Milord's nose roping. For the entire event in so far as state of Karnataka is concerned. Do you remove the ropes when they, are, when they run? No. I'm sorry, Milord. Do you remove the no. ropes? No. no. So, Milords, if nose roping Milords, is permitted under 11.3 by the central legislature as an exception, then we have amended that 11.3, Milords, and added Kambala. So, what we have effectively added, Milords, is whipping to the extent it is permissible. Now, Milords, there is no literature before my Lords, no data, there is no death, there is no ticketing, as the Lordship also put. It's uh, attended by local villagers. Is the pleading in the repetition itself. Yeah, so Milord, in absence of any over this 20 seconds, you continue to be fit. No, no, no. Only in the beginning. No, no, there is no data. Therefore, Milord, they have they, the writ petitioners have alleged that inherently writ whipping is uh, uh, torturous. That's right. And that Milord, we have denied. Therefore, the committee was appointed. The committee was directed to be appointed by the High Court. <laughs> they got a thick skin. <laughs> no, I don't know if your lordship are referring to humans or me, but yes. <laughs> but uh, but yes, the whipping is not continuous. Lord. There is no data except some photographs. It's occasional whipping. Occasional whipping. 
permissible under 113 competency is not under oh, why do you say it's permissible under 11 because we have amended 113 by state okay. All right, all right. May, um, uh, actually, the council is there. Yes. Most of you will. Yes. Sir. Two minutes, two minutes. My Lord. Don't, 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 I will not allow you to take. No, I am not taking. I am not taking. I am not going to read any books, my Lord. I have a written submission. I have given. Who are you, Jain? My Lord, I am appearing for IA number 174687 uh. in written petition number 24. Please kindly pass this written submission. Uh, what is your submission? My Lord, I am the bull owner. Uh. I have 13 native bulls in my farm. And I part my bulls participates in this event. I am organizer. I was a minister and sitting MLA. And my district is the highest this conducted in the uh, judging. So, IA number one minute. One four seven. Oh sorry, one seven four. I'm sorry, one seven four six eight seven. One seven four six, six eight, eight seven of two thousand twenty two. In rig petition twenty four of two thousand sixteen. Yes, anything, anything more? Yes, sir. I just kindly have my five minutes, but I'm not going to read. Can't be, can't be no, no, my Lord, there just is. say two minutes and we'll finish. Yes, two minutes. Can, my Lord, kindly say, my Lord, fundamentally, the argument started by saying that you are not coming under the entry 17 because it's not a prevention, it was perpetuating. My straight answer is and the, the argument starting with that is fundamentally wrong. Oh. My Lord, prevention is not a mere prevention. Can you take my notes, my Lord? Let's go through it. We'll go through that. Four pages, no, that's kind of thing. We'll go through your note. When, they, when you have put it down in notes, yes. you don't have to argue. Your notes have seen entry has to be given widest interpretation. That means that's so, the yes. What is the prevention, my lord? Prevention here means, my lord, categorizing animal, defining a cruelty, permissible limit of cruelty, usage of animals, regulations, prohibitions, exemptions, everything encompasses in 17. So starting with saying that you are not covered under the insurance. Right. Second point, my lord. The Lord Chief was testing our state amendment section 11. My humble submission, Lord, it can't be. Because, my Lord, we are not testing a section 28 against section 11. Once the state amendment comes, it becomes a part of the central enactment. It is a central enactment. You don't test any amendment of Tamil Nadu qua existing provision in the central act. It can't be done, my Lord, because the pregnancy test will never applicable such a situation. Once the state comes in, Get a president last night, it become a part of the central element. So that point is not, the repugnancy test testing quite alone is gone, my lord. Yes. Then my lord, jellicate is recognized by the state as a cultural traditional event. But who can challenge this, my lord? Who can challenge a person sitting in the USA and UK having headquarters coming and telling Tamil people this is not your culture? But that's your constitutional violation, you can come and challenge. Correct. But you can't come and which is my culture and the state recognized by act. In 2016, state did not recognize it as an act by act. Sure. Now, by statute, it is recognized as a cultural event. Then you some third person cannot come and say unless okay. that statement. Fourth point, my lords, comes under the 15 and entry 15. Pre preservation of animals. My lords, I said in my written submission, my lords, the four breeds were used. Out of this, one breed is no more even counted now. It's almost extinction. Well, this cows are giving only two to three cages of milk okay. when comparing to uh, imported we'll milk. My lads, then fourth point, Article 1421 and the call last point, my lads, mere abuse or violation of law, possibility of law will not make the law. law said, I, in the medical submission, that's the last point, 2005, 7 SCC, 764. Very good. Thank my you. Lads, that is the last judgment. I have given whatever the judgment, even the, knocking out the basis of the judgment has given. 2005, 7 SCC. I must have a moment, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Senior Counsel. 2005, 7 SCC, my Lord. You wanted to say five minutes the same way. And we this is my written service. And one more thing, my Lord, I have given the details of the all the animals conducted, performance in the globe, pig, everything, cat. Then India. Then another, my Lord, in bull, how many countries? Very good, very good. You are doing this it. This compilation is given. Very good. I am for, Lord, uh, I am, oh, I am, I am for the impetus and so on. Please finish it. Uh, you know, five minutes each. Please. It will be very brief. I may not uh, exceed the time limit. Yes, not one five minutes. Yes, Murad, I am only bringing to note. Who are you, first of all? Murad, I am uh, the petitioner, Murad, in IA number 11, bar 2016. In petition? You know, he is an association, registered association. In petition, in petition. Petition. 24. 24 of 2016. Ah, what, what, what is your same point you are adopting? Number. IA number 11 of 2016. IA number 11 bar 2016. In the petition 24 of us. Yes, what is it that you want? That's only two points I want to highlight. Nothing more. I do not exceed the time. Yes. You will not put any point number one. 
They're not created. <laughs> Subsequently, they are. But in 2009 Act, Maharaj, yes. was cut down mainly. One of the grounds was that it allows taming of bulls. Taming is a contrary to the Act. Therefore, it was cut down. Correct. Now, Maharaj, you are not my kindly. The basis has changed. We understand. Maharaj, now, they don't see that. Uh, your that. IA is a free amendment IA. No, no, no. 2016, when was the amendment made? 17. 17 years. But after that, only it was under the repetition of amendment. No. Then did you amend your IA also? I'm only a party member. You are supporting the, you are basically supporting the delegate too. Yes, yes, you are supporting the delegate. So, anything more you want to add, which is new. Otherwise, you know, we have, you know the scarcity of time. Don't repeat. We have understood your line about it. Yeah, one thing, Matt, not I'm, yeah, I'm yes. drawing on the other things, but I'm giving me written submission. That's all. Murad, only one thing I would highlight. Murad, one few lines I will read. Murad, my kindly permit me. Murad, so all should say, Murad, so how the delicacy is being celebrated in the state of Tamil Nadu. Murad, I am a man from Tamil Nadu. I know personally because we are organizing, we are conducting. Like Murad, see, I have narrated my repetition itself. Murad, so how it is. Correct, correct, correct. How did you right? You treated uh, with the uh, utmost affection. It is not an event, it is not an amusement, it is a festival, Murad. It commences from Pongat. It is a festival. It is not an amusement. It is not an event. It is not a sport event. Therefore, related to culture also. Culture. Murad, how it is arranged? You are kind of a few things, Murad. I will say, no, one minute, Murad. Yes. Then, one minute Murad, instead of you know, say, I've been waiting here for three days. Murad, you can say that's why we are permitting. Yes, 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 yes. Murad, Jandikat to festival, Murad is organized on a particular day in a village. Murad, be a few days before that, Murad, the village meeting is held. Yes. Murad, there must be it is held, Murad, it is held in the temple. In the village, common temple, it is held. There not only people converge, Murad, they decide as to how to conduct the festival. Then, Murad, on the day of festival, Murad, before the bull is taken from the house, Murad, family members, Murad, worship it at the home. Then only it is brought here. Number two. Number three, Murad, Murad, the, the surrounding villages gather. Common feast is arranged Murad, in the temple. I am connecting Murad with the, with the temple. Murad, common feast is arranged in Murad. Contribution is made by the villagers. Everybody except the bull enjoys it. Bull, bull, bull also enjoys Murad, how it is done? Murad, my kind of fine, that's fine. Murad, when, when, with it. Murad, before the commencement, Murad, everyone Murad, goes to the temple. There, Murad, the, the temple bull is taken. Murad, it is garlanded and it is worshipped there. All right, all right. It is worshipped. There are, you have Murad, understood. There is a lot the of... Bullies, bullies brought to this uh, uh, arena. You have now exceeded your minute. Yes. My lots. Murad, I am permitted to have about two minutes for you all. Your time in Murad. IA number. Just a moment. Murad, one second. Murad, 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 why I'm saying that is, my lords, because in Jali, in Jalkatu matter in Nagraj's case, in Paris 74, my lords, has categorically held Jalikatu and Bulakat races to be illegal, my lords. So there was an amendment which came to... In, they, know that. What's your point? My okay. point is, my lords, yes. that Bulakat race is different from Jalikatu. It is done in a stadium. It is not done and uh, there is a jockey. Apart okay. from that, there are no tickets. So it does not come within the purview of performing okay. animal section okay. to be... Right. The Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. And apart from that, my lords, and also Section 21 and 22 of the uh, Prevention to Cruelty Act, my lords. Correct. It's not a performing animal because we do not sell tickets, we do not say, and it is known as the Rural Olympics of Kila Raipur, and it has been doing from 1933. Which state you're talking Punjab, about? Punjab. So this is from Punjab. Yes. I thought I'm appearing for the bull owners, my lord, and the bull owner association. No, we are not really concerned with that. No, I'm not a rich petitioner. I have filed an impeding application in okay. rich petition, my lords, because the notification, the notification specifically states that states of Karnataka, uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra. So this is related to Punjab. Punjab. Okay. And it is known as Rural Olympics. It is, and Bulakat race is one of the races. There is dog race, camel race, horse race, and then athletics for It's a bull race, actually. Cart race. Bull cart. Okay. Bull race. From that. No, two minutes. That's it, that's it. Two minutes, my lords. Sorry, sorry. My lords, two minutes. PM and five, my lords. Sorry, 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 sorry.
Article 29, my lord, 8 p.m. 5, 11 judges speaks about 29. Can I then give you submissions? Can I give you submissions? I am appearing in IA number 6-7-113. I am having a foundation, cattle preservation for All right. My submission is this. Tamil Nadu. Of Tamil Nadu. My submission. Anything new? Yes. Just whatever is new alone. Only two sentences. Only two sentences. Yes. Let Jalikatu not is neither for an entertainment nor an essential human activity. It is an essential activity to preserve the free. You argued. Let, that's why. Let, I have filed my written argument. Let your Lord, please to note okay. page okay. 10. Lord, I have got a total Let, uh, argument. One more submission, my Lord. Let your Lord, also please to consider Lord, the Convention on Bio uh, Biological Diversity Act. Lord, in which Lord, it says what is your ID number? What is your ID number? Six seven one one three of six two thousand six seven one one three of two thousand seventeen. In which repetition? Twenty four of two thousand sixteen. Okay. Lord, I have filed Lord, the convention a spiral binding. All that is small presentation. Biological. My lords, please note the citation. My lords, it's a eleven charge bench. I only want to file at the two thousand three of time. Your lords will find the judgment at page seventy seven. You who? Unless I am a learned SD was reading, I was also appearing for union in some of the. Okay, you are for the union. Seventy seven is an interesting judgment, my lords. Your lords will find it interesting. No, no, no. I am also filing. I am appearing in IA number fourteen. My lords, interpretation twenty four of two thousand sixteen. I am for a full one. My point is very simple, my lord. In so far, Nagra judgment is considered third in curium. In, in so far, in as much as it is not considered. Your IA number, IA, IA number fourteen, one four. In what? In repetition twenty four. Fourteen of which year? Two thousand sixteen. And in which repetition? Yeah, repetition twenty four. Yes, my lord. I am for the bull one. My argument is, my lord. Your Nagra judgment. Your Andhra. I mean, Tamil Nadu, my lord. Tamil Nadu, Jalli Kattu, representing a bull one. My argument is not Nagra judgment is not per se is incurium. In as such, it has not read not Article 32, Mullah, in its true letter and spirit. Why? Because article, it, it has read Article 51A. It's so always it connects to part four of A of the Constitution. Whereas 32 Mullah, only confines not to part three. Fundamental rights. Fundamental rights uh, initiative of article uh, um, under part three. Yes. So, so part four A. Correct. Yeah, but secondly, Mullah, it's over the justice to Mullah. Uh, the Anirudha boss at the post of query to us say, I mean, income tax act, how it is considered? Well, it is considered as a personal effect. Be, being a movable property, well, section 2, well, 41, well, 214. All right, that's it. Yes, yes. That's what I have also filed the document. Yale, my lord, 167905 of 2020. You are from which place? Agent submissions. I am one of the interpretations. IA number? IA number? 167905 of 2022. I am the member of the parliament from Madurai. In the, which, which case? In 24, WPC 24 of 20. So are these IAs actually allowed already? Well, that has been. Yes. Stop. My, oh. my, my IA, IA was allowed, my lord. IA number 2. Yeah, yeah. So, Madar, what is it that you want? You are MP. Yes. You want, what do you want? Well, to I support the indicator. One thing I thought I should uh, submit. Yes, my lord, Your IA is of, of the New York year? Supreme Court. Your what? IA is of which year? Of the year 2022. Now, one submission, my lord, I will not take much time. My lord was asking day one, my lord was asking on the rights and duties and the assignments jurisprudence. Now, there is one judgment of the US Supreme of US, uh, New York Supreme Court where my lord a chimpanzee was sought to be uh, given a writ of habeas corpus. The rights and duties, I didn't see that because she didn't. Say. Okay. She was no, she was uh, relying on the other judgment wherein the uh, uh, dolphins were sought to be. The question is this, my lord, rights, my lord, are available to the human beings. One aspect, my lord, was also asking on the Environment Protection Act. Now, there can be two ways of looking at it. Nagaraja has gone on the pretext that is the rights perspective. It ought to have been on the duty perspective. Now, if it is the duty perspective, my lord, the utility value for the persons, are available Correct. and therefore you will so make Madam, 21. Madam, you, you, you yes, I have made a uh, no, 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 no
There are totally new points I want to raise. Mr. Lord is kindly accommodate my request. I appeal not to the former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, who was the Chief Minister at the time of the passing of the Air Force. Uh, I support Jali Kattu. My IA number is 180000 of 2020. 180000? 000 of 2022. civil number 23 of 2016. Now, this is Thiru Opani Sagam, who was the Chief Minister at that point of time. That's right. Lord, uh, I am just handing over my submissions. If your lordships permit me 30 seconds. 30 seconds alone? Yes, Lord. Lord, the new thing that I will be talking about, my Lord, is that there is a New Zealand enactment, my Lord. Now, the reason why this enactment is special, my Lord, is that it specifically confers person, personhood on a river, on a river named the Wangui River, uh, recognizing the Aboriginal claim of the uh, of the people there. Now, Lord, the reason why I cite the statute is that it, it spans to approximately 126 sections, stating in precise detail as to what the effect of conferment of personality entails. You know, my, sub, my submission is this, that 14 and 21 of the Constitution specifically refer to person. Person is, my Lord, defined in the General Clauses Act, Article 367, my Lord. Include. Yes, yeah, that's right, my Lord. Now, my Lord, the Indian statutes, my Lord, that define uh, that create legal personality, for example, the companies act or the LLP act, they flesh out again in great detail every single facet of this personality. Now, my Lord, if that is the case, then, uh, and, and, you know, other jurisdictions are doing something similar. My submission is that it, the conferring of personality is necessarily a legislative act. It is not subject to a judicially manageable standard. And therefore, my Lord, it is only the, uh, legis the, the legislature that can do it. Wait. If I have 15 more seconds, my Lord, uh, I, the second submission, my lord. There is something new. Yes, my lord. lord. This just points out, my lord, the difference between section 11, subclause 3, subclause C, which, my lord, is the permission to kill animals for dietary purposes, and section 28 of the PCA Act, my lord. Section 11, my lord, allows the killing for direct dietary purposes, my lord, subject to the condition that it will not cause cruel treatment. But 28 is a religious exception, which is a carte blanche exception to the entire act. And, my lord, what that and because this is a point that uh, Mr. Devan sought to differentiate, Lord. he said that the taking of life is different from the treatment until you take life. During life. That's right. But if your logic sees 28 of the UCD Act, my Lord, it says that there is a carte blanche exception on religious grounds in the manner in which life is taken. So the, the Act has originally enacted, my Lord, envisaged a religious grounds exception in the manner of taking life. Okay. I am appearing, my lord, in support of Jalli Katu and my IA number 2 of 2016 was allowed, my lord, on 13 January. What's your point? My point is this, my lord, the fresh new point. Yes. This judgment of 2014 needs an overruling because the very basic concept, the subject matter was not understood properly by the court. Okay, not the court was mentioning about Bulla. When we are dealing with the bulls and calling bull as a drought animal under the 1965 rule, which I have attached me lot in this, uh, my copy, Lord, yes. kindly have a look. You have given bull, a written, written. Yes, I have passed on a written we'll submission. We'll go through that. We'll go through that. Yeah. Only bull have... is a, a drought animal. Only it is used for plowing and other agricultural purposes, transportation, not bull. Bull is uncastrated. It is used only as a stud animal, not a drought animal. So there is a foundational flaw, Milad, in that judgment. Number two, the, the judgment mentioned to bull fight. There is no fight happening. There is a, I have placed the dictionary meaning here. Fight means there should be some violence involved. And that is missing here. There is no fight. You want uh, violence to be added? <laughs> let me... Uh, Yes. Read, read so the dictionary, me used dictionary meaning, Milord. It says to right. attack or in, engage an enemy in a combat, combat, to take part in a conduct, fight against something or someone. All right, all right, Mr. Lord, so, Lord, given your written submission, that's enough. Yeah. So I have referred to paragraph numbers also, Milord. We'll go through that. Number, number three, legislative competence. Yes. Legislative competence is not just uh, under Schedule uh, 7 rule, uh, list 2 and 3. It is also derived under Article 243G, dealing with the Panchayat, read with Schedule 11, oh. where it, uh, the power is given to the state to enact a law and uh, 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 confer the power on the Panchayat the new point. We'll take in, the, in the rural rural setting, in the villages, relating to four items, I am reading agriculture, animal husbandry and dairying, cultural activities, 
maintenance of community asset. My submission is Milad, this is a cultural activity. This is a community, community asset because it is depleting. It has to be preserved. The community has got an interest in preservation of bull. Very good. Thank foreign, you. foreign jurisdiction. That's no, no, new point, Milad, not touched by the other side. Because we said that new point. New po uh, there is Lord, Lord. There's a new New Zealand High Court judgment of 2022 uh, given the citation very good very good and okay. where it was related to rodeo they say that the approach they've got a similar legislation they say that ours is a welfare animal welfare approach not animal right approach largely no, was no, inquiring no. during the that's trial whether right has to be conferred they say that's similar that's provision that's enough that's spain that's spain yeah. council oh, yeah. let me Lord. two minutes will at large no, no, no. Not possible. Some imp important Wait, point. Without your written submission, that's why we are saying no. Scientific okay. advantage. A to milk. A to milk, Millard. It is direct. Lord, sir, kindly allow me two minutes, Millard. We have heard you. We have no, no. A to milk. And you have given your written A to milk is derived only from cows from this breed. That's right. Not A1 Millard is cancerous, cancer very good, very producing, very good, very good. diabetes producing, whereas A2 milk. If it has to be done, it is through bill. Lord, I am telling you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Last, last one, Millard. Last one. Reconciling constitutional provision. They have referred to 51, uh, 51A. Right. Uh, they refer to uh, uh, two uh, this one, uh, G and H, Millard. Lord, is my kindly refer to F and J also Very to value yes. and preserve the rich, rich heritage of yes. composite yes. culture. Yes. To you. value Thank and you. preserve the rich uh, to strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity. Thank it you. has to be reconciled, read along with this Thank compassion you. and uh, read petition double one double eight of twenty six seventeen, which is referred in this batch of matter. I am appearing for the farmers in Maharashtra. Farmers in Maharashtra. My point is that there uh, there are five in race the, race only in your Maharashtra is race race bullock bullock cart races. Uh, there are the farmers' right to livelihood and occupation is involved in this case. That's right. Animal husbandry is part and parcel of agriculture. Agriculture Correction. all all state acts uh, defines agriculture yes, yes. animal lodge yes. by if these races a sizable yes. population in the dry region in Maharashtra solely dependent on the procreation of these bulls which are used and mainly the killar bulls right to livelihood yes right to livelihood and population of killar bull in the year 2012 was 20 lakhs which was in the 19 uh, 2019 census reduced to 13 lakhs because of ban in on the bullock cart races about the rights and duties, I will just uh, just say, uh, Salman says right is an interest which is recognized and protected yes. by the rules of justice. One, thing. Salman also says there is correlation between but rights and duties. Go that. There is another view of Austin which says every right may not confer duty and every duty may not confer the right. You know that. That's another view. Right. So right. I, I will just. I am in I number one seven three seven four nine of two thousand nineteen. Your relatives in red petition number double one five two. Karnataka. Karnataka matter. Right. You are saying what? I am basically in support of okay what the standard state council except for this one judgment let's say by the constitutional court in Spain your relatives oh. which let's say there is a. There is a ban that was imposed subsequently. The, uh, the constitutional court has set it aside. I place that in my written submission. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Now you would have, I have filed one IA on behalf of yes, the yes. race association. Yes. I will file my detailed certain submissions. And I am supporting the bullock cutter Very good. the state of Maharashtra. Very good. Support. Yes. Now we will deal. I'll deal uh, as your lordship knows. I am appearing in the one which is against the state of Tamil Nadu. I'm going to first deal with the points which were raised by Mr. Sibal, yeah. and then I'll try and go. Pro I'll, I'll progress downwards. Now, to save time, in for the purposes of the rejoinder, have you given it to them? <coughs> I have just summarized some of the points which we want to make, yeah. and I'll take you through this so that we can proceed rapidly. Yes, go ahead, now, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to go slowly. So please allow me to hasten. To no, to allow me to hasten slowly. This is a rejoinder. Yes, it's a very yes, important today part. We will not assemble again for this. I mean, we have no, to in in a constitution bench. Well, I I understand the constraints of your law trips. I have I have you spoken. Can give, you can uh, you can put it down in, your, in written submission. Whatever you want to say. Brothers are rejoined, and if brothers, there has been. I I don't want to tarry on this. <laughs> I'm not saying. It's, it's brothers. I I'm I'm urging the court 
because this is not just a question of this one case. When the constitution bench assembles, of course, we have to all assist the court in reaching a resolution. Please don't say it. Please do it. No. Yes, so I will. Now, my lord, it's the first set because I want to take you through this. We prepared this only keeping in mind that it is going to be a, 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 a it's going to save some time. Yes. Now, let me just indicate we have table A, which begins at page one. Now, the points of Mr. Sibyl, which I am meeting, are these. Point, file a suit. Number two, there are disputed questions of fact. Number three, that there is no Article 21 issue arising in this case at all, because it doesn't have to do with the right to life as far as human beings are concerned. Yes. Now, let me summarize my points and then I'll deal with the aspects of the table. First point, since 2017, 2017 is the writ petition. Yes. And in subsequent years, there are detailed IAs which have been prepared and which are filed on the record of this court. Those IAs bring on uh, us being supported by affidavit, bring before this court detailed reports yes. which are based essentially on two sources. Yes. The first source is an eyewitness investigation of people who attended the event. Yes. They took photographs, yes. they made their notes, and they compiled it in a report. So it's based on eyewitness investigations. Yes. The second element of the report is yes. based on very reliable media reports. So let me explain that. Yes. You have situations where deaths have taken place and injuries have taken place across several districts in the state. If deaths and injuries have taken place in several districts across the state, yes. what we have done is we have compiled on the basis of media reports from various reliable sources and put them first in the report. And we want to point out two, three factors. First factor, this is filed in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. The state government doesn't file a response challenging the 17 facts the 18 facts, the 19 facts, the 2020 facts, the 21 facts, and the 22 facts are filed not on affidavit, but in some sort of a tabulated statement. Yes. So they had the time to contradict. They didn't say anything on affidavit because they had nothing useful to say. And the reason why we are fortified in our submission in this regard is that if those media reports are coming year upon year reporting death, cruelty and atrocities, surely the state government responsible as it is would have contradicted the reports and said, sorry, this is completely wrong. This is false. You are spreading wrong and incorrect news. Yes. None of that. Yes. So these are not just some paper news reports on the way which we have bundled together and brought before the court and said that, all right, believe what is stated here. No, they are compiled methodically. They are placed in a report. The report is placed on affidavit in this court. Now, let us just please go to page one and I'll try and proceed rapidly. So, I'll explain how this is done in the context of a couple of. You've given detailed. Uh... No, but I, I want to go, I want to take your lordships through this and the report. So, please bear with me. So, I want to explain first how this works. I want to explain how this works because a bold statement is made that there is no facts on record and there is no facts at all uh, about any of this.
Yes. 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 Other issues are there. Yes. No. No. Please. I. I don't want to. Yes. It's all right. You go ahead. I'm grateful. So may I take your lordship to page one, please, of what I have just tendered. Let me just explain this in some detail how that first how it works, and then it will become easier. Yes. So you will see column number two. It is annexure P nineteen in volume one of the writ petition filed on sixth July twenty seventeen. More than adequate time. Now the dates and the investigation. This is twenty seventeen report. I didn't read this in the opening because I read it. I pointed out the twenty twenty two. So this this only covered reports between fifth and twelfth of February twenty seventeen. The act had come into force by now, and you will go on the next date. There are dates essentially in the month of February. Now please see relevant pages of the report. Now for, please please see the bold portion. Casualties and injuries between January and June twenty seventeen. Human deaths fifteen. Human injuries approximately two thousand. Animal deaths. Five bulls and animal injuries seven. Now please go to the next column. Whether Peter reports are based on eyewitness investigations and other sources. Yes, eyewitness investigations. The photographs at the events were taken by Peter investigators. The reports from from following reputed media sources were used to collate information about injuries to humans and bulls. the business standard hindu times of india hindustan times indian express new indian express and deccan chronicle now please go to the last column state reply contesting the report none the state has not contested any of the media reports cited in so far as peta is aware now please go over the leaf page uh, page 3 this is the 2019 ia casualties and injuries between january 18 to february 18 10 human deaths 757 human injuries animal deaths five bulls detailed particulars which are given please go to page number 4 i a 7th august 2019 with an affidavit in support casualties and injuries in 2019 human deaths 8 human injuries 597 animal deaths five bulls and one cow very many details further given now please go serial number 4 at page 5 human deaths 13 in the year 2020 human injuries 570 animal deaths six bulls and we go into the various deaths now 19 2021 was a really unfortunate year human deaths 14 human injuries 1119 animal deaths 1 animal injuries 8 and in so far as the year 2022 is concerned again the human deaths soared to 17 human injuries 1655 animal deaths 2 now please in this document itself in this again drawn from this report I would your, like your lot trips to go because I'm just explaining how we've compiled it. Go to page twenty-three, just for a moment. So page twenty-three, second bottom half, you will find a Times of India report of twenty nineteen. Bull barges into Jalikattu Spectator Gallery and gores man to death. So when we get a report like this from the Times of India, there's no denial by the state government. This counts as one death. Please go to the next page, page twenty-four, Times of India. Kalakuti uh, Jalikattu bull tamer goes to death. Please go thereafter if your lordships would directly. Please go to page thirty-one. Youth Hindu, the youth gored by bull during Alanga Nalur Jalikattu dies. And the earlier page, page thirty, Tamil Nadu. Uh, sorry, page twenty-nine. Bull released during Jalikattu dies after being hit by train. this is from a times now report and uh, uh, sorry mirror now a report and please see page 29 if your lordships would two tamers including a student killed in jalikattu event this is drawn from the hindu page 29 so this is the reliability and uh, i think to, to since you know, we are not going to have the advantage of visiting one of these look at page 34 because a lot was said about one person mounting the bull please just have a look at page 34 which gives you a report from india today and hindu as to how this event is uh, is being conducted there are hordes of people 
lots of individuals at the same time and the rest of it your lordships will see for example page 36 from the from the deccan herald rights activist raises red flag after seven die in tamil nadu jalikattu and please go again if your lordships would to page 35 spectators trace outside the seating area in trichy gored to death by the bull now with this background i'm only going to refer to one ia please just take up ia i've asked the court master to keep it ready 55826 of 2020 55 so this i hadn't placed earlier because they said they didn't have time for 2022 so please see the 2020 ia 5586 a uh, 55826 of 2020. Haven't we asked them to keep it ready? We had asked them specifically to keep this one IA ready to save time. Now, this is being projected. What your lordships were told is that we now have a very sanitized and improved version of events. So, 2017 came and went, 2018 came and went, 2019 came and went. Now we are in 2020, the fourth year in which this event is being conducted and let us see what the eyewitness report showed with regard to the conduct of this event yes dear lordships have it please go to page 13 of the report yes this is the peter report for investigations held over five or six days 15th till 19th january 2020 please go to page 13 this is, we have a few eyewitness volunteers who have gone and tracked it and taken photographs. Now, what did they see? And a handful of events, because this is going on right from January all the way into May or June. Now, please see page 13. The impression which was given, do your lordships have page 13? So, the impression given was there's one bull and one human being. Look at the bottom of page 13, both the photographs. Please go to page 14. They have said that it will be more than one uh, participant. No, no, many tamers yeah, pounce on the bull. I am pointing out the extreme cruelty. Please go to the bottom of page 19, uh, sorry, page 14. A bull falls onto a tamer Sam, inside the arena. Let us get one thing straight. Yes. You are saying all this. You are challenging an act, the rules, etc. Yeah. Yes. You know, the possibility of it falling into disuse, I mean abuse, or it being abused. Yeah. Cannot be the standard by which you will get the validity of the act. No, no, the, I, I'm, I'm making it very simple. Yes. They, the argument was regime change. That's I remember true. hearing that expression. Of, Absolutely. I am pointing out that as between, how did how did this court decide the case and correctly decide the case in Nagraj? On the basis of reports filed by the Animal Welfare Board and certain supplementary affidavits. So that we, I'm sorry. Just yeah. Factual matrix. Then, no longer exists because. So I am showing you it survives. That's what we're saying. There might be instances where the the, the, the illegality committed. Then eleven will kick in. Eleven. Eleven one a etc etc. What is it that you can ultimately do? No. You will you will punish the person who commits. You can't punish the person. There's no penalty. Please, I'm going to show you. There's no penalty provided in the rules. That you may. How we are going to... No, no, I am, Baloj, I am... I am in case we allow it. In case yes, of course, because your lordships are open till the end. We are not, we are not saying that... Uh, of course. We are saying yes. in case we uphold it, we, there will be a lot of safeguards which we will have no, to... No, there is no question of safeguard. This is per se, because what I am showing your lordship is what the state is projecting according to us is humbug. That to show that, I am pointing out page 15. Now, please go to page 15. Uh, how, how, can you, how can you argue with this material on the record you don't contradict it. You don't file an affidavit. And then you, when this is being pointed out, you say, no, no, please issue curative directions. Yeah. This is practiced in 2020. If you had the time in 17, 18, 19. If you fail to correct it in, until 2020, obviously the rules are not working at all. So this is an eyewash. And ultimately, my submission is going to be your lordships with your vast experience are not going to be gullible as the state of Tamil Nadu may wish you to be. You are going to examine the material on the record. So please see page 14. Look at 14. Many tamers pounce on the bull. The bull falls onto the tamer inside the arena. Now look at 15. The panic bull charges back into the Vadi Vasal from the arena. Look at page 15. Some stray incident. We are just saying that the bull is slightly better compared to our condition. <laughs> that may be. Bullets, please see page 15. 
please have a look at page 15 the photograph where the bull charges back because i mean the whole idea of cruelty was that the sensational not just deprivation but the noise the physical yes. is so great yes. that the fight flight or flight and he has uh, there is a flight response here now please go directly if your lordships would to the uh, to for example go to page 44 and 45 just look at 44 and 45 and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to read from what they have said, the sanitized version of how it is conducted. Go to page 44, please. Your Lordships have 44? Yes. So this is the manner in which the crowding takes place. Look at the number of people on page 44. Many tamers attempt to subdue a bull as, as and some hold by the horns. Now look at the next page. Several tamers simultaneously, two tamers pounce on the bull. And your lordships were told it is one at a time. There are three jumps. There's one hump. This hump and jump theory, which is being pushed forward by the state, according to me, is eyewash. And it is eyewash in the sense it's contrary to the record. I can understand if they said that, look, this doesn't seem to be an event. We've checked up. And there was no such event which took place on this day. Or that this seems to be a photograph of another day or another year. Or this is pre-2017. None of that. This is 2020. Now, please have a look at page 59. Look at the cruelty. Look at page 59, the photographs. Is this to be ignored? Is the 59 as well as 60 of this report? So, if your lordships are pleased to turn to that. So, this is showing, what does this show? Who took this, this I'm sorry. Who took this photograph? This, fo I said so. The photographs are taken by our, see, it's mentioned in the report itself. It, there, there are field investigators who went there and on the basis of which, they, uh, they have prepared this uh, uh, this report. So, it, so did he, did he we have called, I have described did he, this, sorry. Did he lodge a complaint with the SRG? We did. We initially did. We, we have, there were some FIRs, but I am going to show your lordship. I am going to show your lordships that, and we are making these reports, you see. So please just go to the yes, sorry. A small request. Can we draw any adverse? Can you put the mic? Uh, mic is on. Uh, yes. Can You're we soft draw? Spoken. Can we draw any impression based on these photographs which you have shown to us? One thing. Yeah. Second is there may be a stray instances in any year, but we are we are testing. On the angle of the constitution Correct. about the scheme in place as to whether after the assent has been granted by the president to the statutory enactment applicable in the state in question, how far it is a valid enactment or not. If you go on taking an impression based on photographs, they want to be very, it will be a very dangerous situation for us. We can't hold that the provision enacted in this uh, of the act of 1960 by a state amendment with the assent of the president is bad in law because the photographs say so. Can we say, or can we record any finding based on these photographs that the legislation is bad? All right, let me let me answer let me answer this question. Let's answer this question threadbare. So, uh, uh, Mr. Diwan, uh, would it be possible to conclude if we take it tomorrow at two o'clock? I think so. By what, sure. by what time? But we we conclude by 4 o'clock. I think all of us will conclude. We, Let me, I'm, I've got 15 minutes left and uh, the rest of us will conclude in the two hour sessions which remains, the final session. Or, or, uh, I don't think we'll be. Yes. Yes. I'll be, be we'll be very grateful, tomorrow. yes. Are you not proposing to sit tomorrow? You can. What we have, we have no option. No, no, no. no. I'm saying, no, my, my, respectful, but my respectful request is to limit us on a particular time. We have no problem. They've had a lot of time. Well, no, no, I, I, let me be honest with you. No, 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 no. I have no problem. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We have no problem a lot. What I'm saying is limit us to time. We'll finish it tomorrow. There's no question. Once your lordship says 20 minutes, half an hour, we'll finish. <laughs> 2 p.m. with that afternoon session, we will complete it at our end. Thank you.
Mr. Diwan, will you continue on so that we we'll continue tomorrow? Yes. So, so yes. Can, I'll use my 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yes. Can you utilize? Yes. yes. So now first let me use the 15 minutes to answer the question. Sorry. Your Lordship recalls. Now I'll ask. Sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, he yes, I'll, I'll, I'll think well. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Then we'll sit tomorrow. I'm so sorry. You didn't hear. No, no, I didn't realize that. I'm, my apologies. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize that. Because Diwan. No, no, of course. Well, the bike wasn't, Diwan wasn't in full swing. So no <laughs> yes, Absolutely. Yes. You can just, you know, we'll just tell you something. There is an article in the Bull Rane area. Yale Law Journal. Yes, sir. I have, I have, that is uh, C.K. Allen. Uh, yes, sir. There's an article, I don't know whether you have Yes, sir. I have, I have also marked the pages. That, uh, he has circulated that, uh, that article. Those, by yes, yes, sir. Lordship, there are two more items. Those are two and five euros. Not possible today. No. No. Any other place? It's still after vacation. You put it after vacation. There is no point in keeping it. I think the other matter is. Yes. Wait for it. Oblige me, Lord.